Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a map with the grid in UTM showing the significant digits. So first off, uh, if you haven't got QGIS, get over to QGIS.org and download the latest version and make sure you support if you're using it um, in your everyday work. Um, I would like just quickly to add that some of the information in this tutorial came from an answer on Stack Exchange from Spaceman. So Spaceman, thank you very much. Now we'll get right on in. We're going to have a brand new project. going to load in a base map using quick map services and I'm going to use an OSM topo map which is pretty neat and I'm going to zoom in to my hometown of Galway and this is just what we're going to use for a base map so we'll jump straight into layout manager so new print layout we're going to call this Galway OSM UTM grid once you've got that far We've got an A4 landscape screen and we'll add a new map straight away. And for this tutorial, I'm not going to be adding any map decorations. It's just going to be a basic how to do it. So you can do this in your own time. And change the scale to 25,000. And just find a nice part to go away. So what we want to do is we want to add a grid um, straight up. Um, we're going to call this uh, X. We're going to call this X axis UTM. And we're going to modify it. And the first thing is the coordinate reference system. We're in this case, we're going to use the Ir Irish transverse Mercator. Um, use whatever UTM is suitable for your um, setting. And we're going to give it 1000 meters between each grid for the X and the Y. Um, I like to style the line uh, with the gray color, um, give it a bit of transparency. It just needs to be just visible, but not overbearing and covering anything important on the map. So stroke with the one, that's fine. Uh, now is where the important stuff happens. So first off, we're just gonna set it with just normal decimal. And what we're interested in is converting the bottom left um, easting and the bottom left northing to show the full range of digits for this coordinate. But every other grid interval, we only want to show the digits that are changing. And in this case, it's going to be 28, 29, 30, 31. And in the northings, it's going to go 24, 25, 26. And I will show you how to do that. So we'll go to our grid and we're going to change it to custom and have a look at what we can do. So essentially what we want to do is we want to find the bottom, bottom left on the easting or on the x-axis. And we're going to, we're not going to be able to dynamically change this if we move our map around. For this tutorial, we're just going to we're going to pick the area we want to map, and we're going to choose whatever that bottom left coordinate is. And we're going to check first with the NIF statement if the grid number is equal to that coordinate. We're going to do these three things, and we're going to do some editing and some production to make a nice um, uh, grid that shows all the digits. But if the grid number is not equal to this, i.e., all the other grid numbers, we're going to return false. And this is just to show you how this string works. So we can see that the first, we're going to have first digit, significant digits, remainder digits, and then units, and then everything else is false. So straight off the bat, I'm just going to, because we're only looking at the, um, the eastings or on the x-axis, we're going to disable everything else and concentrate on this axis. So how do we get to the point where we want to have um, the first digits? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a string replace. And I'm going to replace first digit with something that will show me the first digit. So 
what this is going to do is it's going to replace substring of the grid number for the first number and it's going to look for any of these numbers that are already there and where these numbers are it's going to replace it with a superscript or a subscript now how do you get these is you go to any of these websites that are um, convert small s normal letters to subscript and it's just as easy as right click copy and that's uh, that's a roundabout way of doing it without going into too much detail. So if we press OK on this, now we've got the first digit is a subscript. And we're going to go back in. And now we want to make the next two digits. And the next two digits are what we're calling the significant digits. They're the digits that change as the map reader looks from left to right along that bottom axis. And to get to that point, it's a little bit easier than the first one. We copy in this line of code, which takes... Um, a, a substring of the grid number but takes from the second number and goes for two places so it goes one two so it's going to show the 28 and return that so now we've got the five and the 28 for the last part of the grid number we are going to similar to how we constructed the first digit that um, this will take the last from digit four for three digits four five six and that will return okay so now we're pretty close to what we want to be uh, it's pretty important to have the units in there because otherwise it could be five two eight zero zero elephants or five two eight zero zero uh, distance to the pub it could be any unit so instead of units, we're going to manually put in uh, meters east. And we've used a subscript, a uh, superscript for the meters, uh, just to keep in, tie in everything else that's going on. Okay. And now we've got our meters east. And to get the, where we have false, we now want to put in those significant digits. So exactly what we did earlier copy these down and that should be it so now we've got our full grid figure in the bottom left and we've got our significant digits moving off to the right so that's the x-axis the y-axis is essentially the same approach uh, modify grid so it has to be all the same settings as we had before. Um, change this to 1,000. 1,000. This time we've already got a grid in, uh, we've got a, a visible grid, so we don't need to put that in twice. So no pen, that's fine. And now we're gonna draw coordinates, but this time we're only concentrating on the Eastings, which are the left and the right. So we'll disable the top and the bottom and change this to custom and we're going to just use the same the same process we had before we've already made it out uh, now for this one i would have vertical ascending for the left and vertical descending for the right that's fine always good to zoom in on your work often when it renders at a different zoom it looks a little bit different so that looks fine everything is legible and we can read it all right so zoom back out and the next part of this is we're going to add an additional grid for uh, for WGS 84 showing the latitude and the longitude and it's just going to be a secondary grid to the first one and um, we're going to call it WGS84 modify grid. So I'm going to change the coordinate reference system to WGS84. And for this, um, just bear in mind the interval. You're no longer talking about the meters between interval. It's um, a fraction of a degree. So often this takes a little bit of work um, to figure out what's the best 
for your scale and also it would change by the latitude of your map but I've done this already in the background so I'm just going to go with what I had before um, I like to differentiate the WGS grid as much as possible from the other grid um, just so the eye doesn't play tricks on you and what we're going to do is yep we're going to give exterior ticks and the exterior tick is going to be frame size is one exterior tick uh, zero point one now we need to put in some coordinates for that so we're going to have degree minute second with suffix uh, we don't need three decimal places for this but what we do want to do is we want to get that same color again and we'd like to offset it a little bit further from the map that the other coordinates are just to give that extra little bit of difference I'm going to go for aerial six and see what happens looks okay uh, so left is going to be vertical ascending right is going to be vertical descending just going to do one more thing with my utm grid is the font um it's okay And that is essentially it. So when you make a map like this, you'd obviously add some extra, you'd add uh, the normal map decorations, which would be what the projection is, uh, a scale bar. You'd have a little note saying that the uh, full coordinates are given in the southwest corner of the map. And that's essentially it. <laughs>